Hello, I'm, uh, I've got a, an issue that I'd like some input on in using the Excel Stepper um, library with uh, an Adafruit TB6612 Stepper driver. Uh, the library version is 1.58.0 and um, like I said, it's the Adafruit TB6612 uh, driver board. Um, here's how I have this set up. You can see the, the stepper um, configuration here. I'll step you through the code, just a really high level. The first thing I do in the setup is I home the stepper. You'll see here that there's a variable capacitor, two limit switches down here. Um, I will home it in the counterclockwise uh, rotation position first. And then once that's done, then I'll home it in the clockwise position. And then once that's done, I'll use those particular uh, physical limits as limits within the uh, main loop. And basically what I do is uh, I will put in a value between zero and whatever the other limit is. And then I will move that stepper to that particular position. Um, what I'm seeing is that if, um, and I'll show you this one first, um, is that when I'm going in the counterclockwise uh, direction, that um, oftentimes the stepper will step clockwise just a couple of ticks and then go counterclockwise until it gets it to its destination. So let me, let me show you that real quick. Okay, like I said, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to initialize. So I'm going counterclockwise, and I will trigger the limit switch. And then I'll wait, and I'll go clockwise. And I hit the limit switch. Now you can see that uh, the positions are from 0 to 883. Um, so if I go to uh, 800, let's say. So it goes 83, 82. So this one is okay. It's going in the, in the right direction. It doesn't step in the opposite direction. Um, so now I'm at uh, position 800. If I go to 750, and then watch what happens. 50, 51, 52. So it takes two steps in the wrong direction. Then goes back the other way, 51, 4, and goes back down to 751. So it takes, takes two steps in the wrong direction and then heads the right direction. Um, if I go to 700, you'll see the same thing happen. 50, 51, 52, and then back to the right direction. Um, so that's going in the counterclockwise direction. If I go to go back in the in the clockwise direction then everything is okay it doesn't take any missteps it goes right to where it's supposed to be now if we go back we'll say to 700 oops wrong button and there you go 0 101 102 in two steps in the wrong direction and then back go in the right direction. Now what I found is that I can make the problem worse if I lower the acceleration. So let's clear that and we will compile it, send it to the Arduino, And then we'll do the same thing. So we're homing. There's one way. Homing. Okay. So from 0 to 811, we'll go to 800. See what happens. Okay. That one appeared to be okay. Go to 750. Oh, look at that. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 9, 60 to 61. 
So all of these, so 11 steps in the wrong direction, and then to its position. Uh, if we go to 650, I'll go down here to the end. Okay, so there's 11, so there's this 11 steps in the wrong direction, and then to the correct position. And then if we go back to 800 in the clockwise direction, it's all okay. Um, the, the code, the run code's pretty simple. Um, Distance to go and run are about all I call in this particular um, part of the loop. I, I'm checking that the destination is within its limits and then distance to go. And then you see the, the debug messages that I have here. Current position and then target distance to target position. Anyway, I would be interested um, in hearing your thoughts and uh, any ideas that you may have. Um, why this problem is happening. Appreciate your help. Thanks a lot.